What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a lot of exciting things planned for you this year coming. And as you know, this channel focuses a lot on items that are not mainstream in resin printing and a few other great things in the maker space. So hit that subscribe button and let's go. So welcome back guys. Coming out of the holidays, a lot of persons probably got a resin printer for their holiday gift. And as you know, the technology is now in a space where resin printing is now becoming more and more affordable to everyone. It's very similar to the FDM printing craze that occurred a few years ago. So more and more persons are now coming into this hobby. The cost and manufacture and technology of resin printers have advanced. So now you find that it's a lot more accessible. Traditionally, resin printers have been used a lot for printing minis and a lot of prints that require a high level of detail. This includes tabletop gaming where a lot of these miniatures that are printed where you could actually print these small game pieces and you really couldn't tell if they were actually printed or if they were injection molded and that was one of the major selling points for resin printers in the hobby space in addition to the quality you could actually print which model you actually wanted in the poses that you wanted. So you essentially had the best of both worlds. You had the quality and you could actually print what you wanted. I suspect with more and more persons acquiring resin printers, they are not all going to be printing minis and they're not all going to be printing or making prints that are for tabletop gaming. Recently, I acquired another FDM printer, which is an Ender 3. And one of the very first things that I do when I get my printers is to make sure that you enable proper cooling because I usually print my FDM prints in PLA and cooling is a very important aspect of that. Unfortunately, the Ender 3 does not have the most optimal cooling out of the box. So what I decided to do is to replace the cooling section of my Ender 3 with a 3D printed duct. Now for my other Ender 3, what I actually did was printed the duct in PLA and that actually works very well. However, in this case, I decided to print it with my resin printer. And I can tell you, one of the main advantages of printing with the resin printer was I was able to get some really smooth insides of the fan duct. And those of you who know about airflow, you would know that you need a proper laminar flow of air to ensure that when you have cooling, you'll get the most efficiency out of your blower for your printer. As I mentioned, the FDM one works fine, but there were losses in efficiency due to the insides not being particularly smooth when you print with an FDM printer, depending on the orientation. Mine had not so smooth insides and that actually caused some turbulence in the air which reduces its efficiency. So those of you who have been printing with your resin printer, you would know that orientation is a really big deal. And to have these ducts on the build plate to get them printed was a bit of a challenge to ensure that I got the proper orientation so that I didn't have any support structures inside the duct itself. Another challenge that I had was I had to make sure that there weren't any warping areas on the duct because if the duct itself actually warped when I started to put them together they will not fit. This duct actually is made up of two separate parts which actually fits together so I had to make sure that none of the parts warped. So this is the orientation I actually placed the two separate parts on the build plate to get it done. I was actually thinking about changing the orientation a little bit but based on how I have it here 
this will actually allow me to print it with very little supports. And this is what it looks like when it's complete. And here is it on the bill plate as I just finished the print. And this is how it looked after I cleaned it up. Even though I knew it would have printed pretty well on the resin printer, I was blown away and super impressed when this thing was actually mounted together. They fit so perfectly. After aligning and getting everything put together just right, everything mounted up really well and this is what it looks like after it was mounted. And I have to say, based on the efficiency that I have been able to get with this blower, I am only required to run this blower at maybe about 50% that I would typically have to run the other one at 70 or 80%. So 50% airflow is just fine for PLA printing. I'm really happy how this came out and I'm definitely going to be using my resin printer for more and more functional prints. I have another video that's coming up very soon where I had to actually explain the differences and why you would want to use a resin printer or an FDM printer over each other to a very good friend of mine. So in that video, I'll go into more detail on the applications for the different types of technology. So look out for that coming up. As you can see, resin printing can be used for more than ornamental or models or minis or anything that's decorative. You could actually use your resin printer for more functional prints. It's not going to work for every single one of them because of the size limitation and because of the different parameters of the print after it's printed with different types of resin. However, you should definitely give it a go and print more functional parts with your resin printer. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I'll definitely respond to you. And don't forget to hit like and to subscribe to this channel because I have so much more stuff coming up in the future. Also, if there's anything specific you'd like to see on the channel, please leave a comment and I'll definitely take note of it. As always, have a good one and happy printing.